Hi everybody, I'm here again. I'm going to talk about other motor vloggers, but not just in the motor vlogging sense. Yeah, that's intriguing. Or not. Um, as you may have seen, uh, me, Jake, and the Glock 17 shooter did a Google Hangout live stream, which is something we're planning to do more regularly. Now, there was a fuck up on my side of my video, it was going to be um, in the description, the last one. It was going to be midnight hour time. But of course the clock's changed, so it was actually 11 o'clock our time, so it kind of fucked it up a bit for some people, maybe. But we were there past 12, so I hope you saw some of it, and you can watch it back. Anyway. Now from that, you'll see that I do talk to quite a lot of motor vloggers, just personally, between them and me, sort of on Skype and things like that. And it's, it's another thing that goes to motor vlogging, the people that you meet. I mean, the people that I talk to regu regularly is obviously like Jake, uh, Chase, as in Chase on two wheels. Um, the Glock shooter more so lately. I haven't really spoken to him too much, but we've had a few conversations. He's a funny guy. What the hell? Ah, oh, must be my fans. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Oh, I think it's a book signing or something, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Scooter Dude. I'll, I'll be nice, shall I? I'll stick back in. Uh, Trump and Warren's another guy I talk to quite a lot on Skype. But not so much these days, because you know, I get really busy and like, I want to talk to people more and I find it hard to find time to even watch people's videos. But it's all through vlogging that I've managed to talk to all these different people from all these different places. and. It's great to get like an, an opinion from someone who's not in the same country as you when you're just talking about general things. Oh, fuck sticks, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, fuck, shit. But yeah, I don't know how else I would have managed to get to talk to all these random people and made some really, really good friends. I mean, I think you all know me and Jake are very good friends. It's it's kind of known because the amount of work we do together, sort of vlogging wise and projects and stuff but Chase I have to give a shout to Chase come on Chase is a brilliant guy to talk to he makes me laugh so much oh fuck and I know that he watches my vlogs sometimes in the morning with a cup of coffee and it's a good start to his day he says and that's really nice of him to say oh fucky slidey slidey but yeah, I've had some really random conversations before now. I mean, one of the most random conversations I think I had was at about five o'clock in the morning. I'm really tired. Um, and Jake calls me and says, come on Skype. And I'm like, it's five in the morning, Jake. Well, it was at three in the morning. It ended up being five in the morning. And he's like, well, come on. And it ended up, we having a conversation between me, Jake, M13, and Accidental Broadcast, which was a very entertaining conversation, as I hadn't spoken to Accidental or M13 before, directly. God, this train is so slow. Check out the speed. Or the lack of it. I'm serious, right? They charge you £3.50 to return. Like, up and down the seafront. It's about a mile. I'm barely registering any speed. Oh, I just want to get in front of him now. Well, that wasn't very difficult. We're having a decent conversation, though I did end up leaving that conversation um, with accident or not wanting me to visit. Or I think I said if I ever went where he lived, he was going to move, or come to where I lived, so he was far away from me or something like that. Is the fact that I'd said um, that sometimes you just want to go out and stab people in the restaurant. And it's a joke, but I've always had this thought, which is, if I were ever to go and do that, I wouldn't take one knife and just stab everyone with it. I take a handful of steak knives and just stick it in people, just round the restaurant, you know. So you can look back at it and go, it's like 20 people sat here now, and they've all got a steak knife stuck out of them. It, it's funny, okay, it's funny to me. People have said I'm slightly masochistic when I said I wanted to stamp on someone's knees so it faced the other way so they'd have accordion knees. <laughs> There are people I have forgotten, like, um, I don't mean to because they're awesome and I just couldn't think of them earlier and I felt really sorry, so I'm going to make a big thing about it. Um, okay. Moto Trappin! 
very cool guy. Tough as nails, funny as shit. I, he's a great guy, and it's only through. I'm not gonna, of course, some very close friends of mine, Ginger Biker and Furious. I've done videos with many times. They obviously are very, very close friends of mine because we kind of live close enough that we can meet when we can. Obviously, uh, Furious being on a white complicates matters a little bit, but we do what we can when we can. And when, it, when he's over, we meet up for several days running normally. I'm trying to think I've forgotten anyone else. I feel really bad now because I probably should have prepped a list of people to mention, but. I'm sorry. If I have forgotten about you, I'm so sorry. And there's this one thing about motor vloggers that you start to learn, and I've picked up on this, and it may not be true, but they might not even think about it themselves this way, but they're all very, very cool guys, but they've had their problems in their past, like everyone has, but they seem to, maybe it's you, the, the certain type of person that you tend to be if you're gonna suddenly think, I know what I'm gonna do, I'm going to strap a fucking camera to my head and start talking shit and uploading it to YouTube. I don't know what, whether there's a certain type or category of person that does that. But I can safely say that Jake, Chase, very much Ginger and Furious, they have helped me a ton in the past year. I mean, there obviously, yeah, there is some sort of vlogging related stuff they've helped me with. But... I'm talking more about life stuff. Now, I don't really know what I was trying to get at with this vlog. It's just more of a sort of a personal thank you to the guys I've mentioned and anyone else that I've been talking to in the past year that's sort of helped me with problems. And Now, I can't, I can't really tell you too many about a lot of these conversations because it's, it's personal. It's not a, a sort of public knowledge. It's, um, it's, the, it's the sort of personal side. When you get to know vloggers for the person, rather than for the vlogger because they can be a little bit different but not much just you know like Jake is a lot more insane in person I'm not even joking I've been sat there talking to him as he's wrapping tape measures around his head planking on his chair spinning round on his chair until he fell off once it was fucking hilarious one of the conversations I did have I can tell you about because uh, Chase has now said about it in his video um, it's the fact that he's now he's now a single man, lone agent. But uh, he was I don't know if he got onto, but he was saying about how he likes the, uh, the girls with English accent. So I've got to try and find chase a girl. No, neither of those, especially as one of them's up the duff. Oh, oh, we have possibilities, Chase. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking too young, aren't I? Yeah, don't look, it's legal. Uh, he's looking any good, Chase? Nope. All right, I'll find her somewhere. Uh, are you into people over 80? Got issues with age? Yeah, okay, maybe not. Don't worry, I can find you one, Chase. You've you got a good chance here, you see. You're American, you ride a bike, so you know, they'll be like, oh, oh your name's Chase, you're an American. That's really cool. And they'll be like, so what do you do? Oh, I see. You work with computer games. Does that mean you make COD? And then like, yeah, she'll be cool enough to know what COD is. Um, and you can be like, yeah, yeah, I made that game myself. And, and she'll be like, oh, that, that's just so interesting. You also ride a motorcycle. Oh, but Chase, I just have to say this to you. Will you touch my boobs? Too young. Do you know my fucking luck? I'll find a really fit one and she'll be Russian. Depp, too old. Too much penis. Oh. Could be a MILF. We've got a MILF. No. Hell no. Oh, that was a possibility in that car, Chase. There was a definite possibility in that car. No, old. Joking. No one bites like that. Where are all the fit English women gone? 
just scouring the cars now, trying to find one. Okay, I've had a tip off. I've had a tip off. I think I know where there is one. Hey, hey! You look like a girl. You into American guys who ride motorcycles? Huh? <sighs> Looks like it. Yeah? You have a good English accent? She, she seems up for it, Chase. I mean, she's not a looker. Shall, shall I arrange it? What should we say, next week at eight? Yeah? Hey! Oinky! Oi, pork face! Ham chops! Bacon f features! Oi, you sausage holder! You fucking lazy little shit! Okay, she's lazy, I'm sorry about that. Chase, I tried, I tried my best. I thought I had a winner there, but she's lazy as fuck. Wouldn't even move, just sat there going. So, I give up on that one. Can't beat the fair punto! Beat the fair fucking punto, come on!